Last Airbender is a three-season TV show that was made by Nickelodeon. Basically, the story is you have four nations of elements. Fire, water, air, and earth. However, there is a main hero of the series called the Avatar. However, when the world needed him most, he died. Vanished. However, Zaka and Katara, to one of which is a water waterbender, find a new Avatar, an airbender named Aang. However, they need to help him train to become the new Avatar and to and save the world. However, the Fire Nation want to attack the world and destroy him. They want to take the Avatar, and for no reason. So it's up to Aang to learn his great airbending skills and save the world. Now, I'll be honest, I did see this show before, like, back in 2011. I remember liking it, but I couldn't really remember it. I love Lego Ninjago, so I decided to see how the last Airbender movie compares to the TV show. Like how they did with this. Now, I haven't seen the film yet, but I saw the first half, so I'm going to watch the movie tomorrow night, and I can't wait to actually give it a shot. However, I have to say... I enjoyed the first season. Although this might disappoint you, I only think that the season is decent. It is good, however, I really like the action. Now the story is very interesting. It gave me such a Kung Fu Panda and Ninjago vibe with all the elements and you can tell the, that's what those franchises use similarities from because I'm pretty sure this came out before them. Like this came out like what, 2003 I think? Kung Fu Panda came out and Ninjago was released back in 2011. The story takes itself very seriously. Whenever a character gets a burnt or a scar, you actually see that scar. And I was like, holy crap, that is some balls for a children's TV show. The animation is very beautiful to look at. Now, it's 2D, and yeah, it's quite old-fashioned. But come on, the elements look really good for 2D. I mean, the characters move so realistic for 2D. The music is also very interesting. It gives me such a Kung Fu Panda and Ninjago vibe, like I said. The characters. I'll start off with the main one, Aang. I like him. He's a pretty interesting kid, and I kind of see a little bit myself in him. Well, not too much, but a little bit. He is something big. He something is really, really popular, but he needs to unlock that potential. He needs to unlock his popularity to become the avatar he was 100 and something years ago. Katara, I thought, was very well designed and she's a waterbender in fact she's probably one she's actually the only reason they made a movie as i know m night Shyamalan's daughter wanted to dress up as katara the waterbender for halloween and then m night Shyamalan started watching the series and he was en engaged with the show and he even and that's why he decided to make a movie so that's interesting she's a very well developed character as for zaka He's not really an element, so he's kind of like the side character. But I think it would have been cool if they made him like the Earthbender. Or maybe they do make him into Earthbender. I haven't seen the show in quite a long time, so I can't really say. Now, on to the main villain, Zuko. Now, I like his movement. He is very well designed. He's got some amazing fire moves. And he is a badass. And trust me, his skills are awesome. But honestly, he's really, really weak as a villain. But he's, but that's not all. He's really, really whiny. I want the Avatar! No, no, you're coming with me. Also, another issue that I have with this guy is that he always fails with a fight with Aang. He always loses. I mean, come on. Aang always beats the shit out of him with his airbending skills. So another issue I had with the series is that... What is the Fire Nation's goal for the Avatar? Do they want to use his powers? Do they want him to work for the Fire Nation so he they can be the strongest nation of all four elements and rulers of the world? It's so confusing, and it's just like, what? Like, why do you want him so badly? Why do you want his power? Like, it's just... Why? Also, another issue I had with the Fire Nation that every place that Aang, Zuka, Zaka, and Katara all visit is pretty much connected to the Fire Nation and are helping them. It's like, why does every place they visit have to work for the Fire Nation? I mean, come on, like, Jesus Christ. Other than that, though, I did enjoy this season. Now, I know I may be a little bit harsh for having flaws, and yeah, I probably don't think it's as good as everyone else thinks it is, but I am excited to give the other two seasons a shot, and I want to see how the film stacks up compared to the original season. I want to see if Last Airbender could be better than this movie at rebooting the original story. I am going to give Avatar The Last Airbender Season 1 a 7 out of 10. See you guys next time, and...